Uh, hey guys, welcome. <laughs> okay. So, um, it's time to finish the feline fortress. Hurry, 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 some tongue twister there. Anyway, let's go and and do it. <laughs> I never actually look at the at the design of what I'm doing. I'm looking over here though. I'm not exactly looking so that I'm placing automatically. Okay, so who is We're not sure we have it. Let's look at the bottom of the So let's start to do Oh, oh. Then what about the How you like that? It's only three times. It is so nice, isn't it? The purring. Oh, you don't, you don't like on your hind leg. This, uh, they call it hind leg. Like. Joyful sessions for the play. Oh, it's Razor! They can actually get on. Talking Razor. Razor, are you the death? Yeah. He's like, that's all he's trying to say. That's right. You understand them too, Pyman. A familiar scent looking for friends. It is good. Happy. Meow. Friends. 
friends followed scent became I'm in very scent. No good. Hey, see, it's happy the flavor of the pants is really really good. Did Simon eat that many? I gave you half of my portion, remember? No sweat, you can still eat purple, but you ate it. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm, it's all the pancakes, all for me. So delicious. Hey, hey. Hi, and Simon also wants to eat. Hey. Okay, that's the menu for the next meal day. Come on, traveler, let's go play the order with Ballerina. You come too, Reese. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I bought me lots of nuts. And me, I am very poor. Basketball gave him a lot of nuts and meat boxes? What? Sounds like Ballerina ordered delivery then. Did Basketball deliver the food to you, Razor? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I would never imagine that the cat would actually end up taking care of the first year in the furball party. Looks like you really are the cat's meow, eh? Is a typewriter. Razor, are you acquainted with this ball? It sleeps outside city walls, takes me there, very comfortable. It has many friends, many outside city, starving. Inside the city, there's food. Me hunting, there's food. Oh, so you already made friends with us while outside the city. Sounds like you do have quite a few friends out there. Then they deliver the food out to their friends? Why don't those little rascals just come inside the city? Sure, the walls might be a little high, but there's shelter from the wind and rain and plenty to eat. They like butterflies flying high. They don't like places without wind. Just while different, like people more. He wants to give food to friends. His friends like human food. They like human food, but don't want to live in the city? Those are some pretty pickled cats. He wants to bring friends inside. Use food, bring them inside, convincing cats to come inside with food. That actually might do the trick. <laughs> But if we bring all those cats over here from outside, will the furball fortress be able to come in? If this place was really filled to the brim with all kinds of cats, Ballerina would be really happy, but the funds might. Cats good, food good, hungry bad. I will help. Anyway, we should make sure that the cats are fed first. Yeah, no matter what, we should take care of delivering the food before anything else. If only we could convince them to come live in the city. And we need to explain things to Valerina. That's right. After all, the costs of running this verbal fortress are all coming right out of our pocket. Razor, how are the cats outside the city doing right now? The past few days brought food to friends. Now they're not hungry. Yeah, that's a relief. Now that we don't have to worry about the cats suffering from hunger pangs, while we speak, we can go discuss this with Valerina. Thank you, Lupico. When, when with you, no need to worry. It feels like a word. Oh, it's just a thing. How we talk to Valerina. Honorary night, Cat Whisper. Are you too tired? Would you like something to eat or drink, or perhaps a massage to relax your muscles? Never mind that. For now, let's talk business. Oh, it's not. I thought that was.
Okay, but... Oh. Really so similar to Scott's tail. <laughs> Maybe this one? I like this one. It's a little bit large. Happiness is already Right, this is the first one. Yeah, this was the first one that I did. I like it because it it has more space. Uh, and he's also following our hand. <laughs> oh. Was that on your face? Oh, it's the face. This guy doesn't want to be touching the face. But he likes uh, he likes being touched by it. What did I say again? The hin hin fall. Uh, what about the oh? Okay, finally the face. Oh, you still don't like being touched in the face? 
Oh, come on. How else am I supposed to touch you? Oz is not going to get jealous of me. Well, Oz is a little bit more. Well, if you think about it, Oz is a bit more mature than official. Oh, so this is the rumor secret land that people named the Fireball Fortress. And yet, it is furnished in such a prosaic manner. Shabby one might even call it. Surely a few wings woven from the vines of purple against gray night shield. Your silver lamp mounted with candles made of a all the better to light the cat eating patterns with the motive of nigh born stars. Um, Fischl, don't, don't you think that the cats will actually be more scared about that? <laughs> and yes, statues forged in the image of cat familiars by mounting the venerable coinage of lost dynasty and adorning them with strange pearls and dewdrops from the depths of a fajor. Uh, is this Jord or Ford? Surely this would make for an amenable choice. You surely must agree, do you not, dear familiar? Hmm, you have yet to declare your name to, to your princessin. Think on that, that, and know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known to her. Meow. Dopey. Dopey. Aww. I think Dopey just... It's being paired with Fischl. His name is Dopey, esteemed princess. Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him the clemency, princess. Hey, wait, no, that's not right. Why does Paimon get like this whenever she sees Fischl? Nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a whirl, too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's play along. <laughs> As I anticipated, cat conjurers, they had once more been brought before our august person by the weavings of the threads of fate. It's the most pleasing reunion. What a title. Looks like Fischl heard about us from Valerina. By your counsel, much thought have I given of late with an Imanar... Imanakriash. Imanakriash. Ima... Imanak... Oh. Imanakriash. I can't pronounce it. To realize the ingenuities obtained from prior experiences, and I have decided to select the most sagacious and sensible of cat familiars to accompany my eminent person on my sojourns. But wait a minute, official. What about what about Oz? Isn't Oz already your familiar? Meow. Yeah. Oh, so you were also planning on taking care of a cat, official? Well, understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just, just so, seeing just so how adorable they are. Wait, right. that doesn't sound right. Mo most people want to have their own after seeing just so. This doesn't sound right. Just so how adorable they. Are. Anyways, but Fischl, don't you already have Oz? Yes. Exactly. Don't you already have Oz as your familiar official? What are you doing? And the two of you tend to move really fast. Can a cat keep up? Or are you going to have Oz fly while carrying the cat? Oh, I, the princess and the ver... Verit along. Verit? Thank you. 
princess in there. How does she know? Yes, wait, just a minute. <laughs> right, right. It's very long. Often traverse 3,000 universes. Though such a journey may not be long, having more suitable companions and gaining insight into things easily overlooked naturally wouldn't hurt. Oz also would like to have a cat familiar to play. Ahem. Ahem. To join forces with to guarantee that my mood shall shine brightly as... Just shine bright as moonlight every second of every day. Yet, tis a shame that though Oz went to great pains to don a form that at most of these, he could not diminish his majesty fully and could not approach the cat familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five paces of a cat familiar, their fur shall inadvertently stand on end and inflate like a bloody, floaty, unmoored. And he closer in terror overtakes them and they flee for the hills. Well, it, it's sort of understandable. I mean, Oz, Oz does sort of, uh, uh, although he, he looks like a raven, well, he's a different kind of raven. But doesn't that also s says a lot? You can't take a cat familiar because I don't think it, it would, the cat would, any cat for that matter, would get along with Oz. The animal archons devoted and loyal nuns recommend that Oz repose without, and as their advice was sound, I graciously assented. What? Oz repose without? Another. Is that the reason why Oz is not around? Magic? All oh, right, I can guess it. Oh, uh, good for you, Paimon. Could you explain it to me? Because <laughs> I got lost. I got lost. I don't understand anymore. You mean that Oz's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters a fervent fortress, all the feeling for it gets electrified, right? Oh, so that's what it was. <laughs> Let's just simply say that Oz spit electro. <laughs> But if that's true, then how could a cat ever travel with you, Fischl? If only there was some material in Tabat that could block the effects of Electro, then we could make cat clothes out of that material. And then a cat could travel with you and Oz, no problem. Now, give me. Give it to me first. Those Electro slimes will be no match once I have done this panoply war. But now that Paimon thinks about it, elemental power is super duper mega strong. If there was a material that could e just easily resist something as powerful as the elements, that would be too good to be true. We probably shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Ah, the naivety. Do not jump to judge a cat, a cat familiar's talents through common sense. The semantic resources of mere mortal words struggle to accurately convey their property. Perhaps somewhere in this world, there exists a cat familiar that can dive deep into the depths, endure in an inferno, and ride upon the wind. Such a special entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning. Um, <laughs> I just, it just occurred to me that the reason why I am having a hard time understanding Fischl is because Oz is not around to interpret. What Fischl is saying. Oz would usually be around to immediately translate official language for us. <laughs> so long as I am patient in my search, I shall find it. For sooth, even if I shoot for ten years or a hundred, it shall be but a fleeting instant in the Imanach Rosh. Additionally, the devotion to one's development in life is as important as the innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey has immense potential. Perhaps after joining my writing you for a spell, it will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. By happenstance, I, the princess, and have disentangled
until the million myriad menial affairs, thus allowing myself a tincture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt, endeavoring to stay here and familiarize myself with this cat familiars, particularly this dopey. She is really taking in with dopey, isn't she? Well, although I pretty much doubt that the cat and dopey Dopey and pretty much doubt that Dopey and Oz would get along well considering what was just said earlier, but well, as long as they're all happy, I guess. Yeah. But we just have to make certain that Dopey isn't hurt, you know? Then <laughs> Paimon hopes you'll have here in the purple fortress, official. No need to tremble before the princess. You have done well indeed to take care, take care for this cat familiars. Flawlessly even. Keep up the fine mark. As the princess and the bird along, I shall remain here for a bit longer, reading the poetry of the soul of these feline familiars. Your Royal Highness, the Princess and the Vertolong, how proceeded thy reading? How has Oz been lately? All oh, right, what's Oz been up to while you've been playing the Furball Fortress? Is he just waiting by the door? No, no way, right? It's, well, Oz is sort of like, like Pyman, who just disappears out of nowhere. And pops up out of nowhere. Or did he go outside the city by himself? Could that be dangerous? Oh, do not jest. This is all we speak of. Osvaldo Rafnavins, the being who reigns supreme over three universes. Surely you are not concerned for his safety. Hardly necessary, I do say. Even at a hundred paces, a thousand paces, any harboring treacherous intent which Overwhelmed and overawed by the mysterious depths of his case, and would never dare to act rashly. In our journey through the ages, it is inevitable that Oz and I will sometimes act separately. Um, I, I'm not really worried about that. We, no, we know very well that Oz is very, very capable. Just that I wish he was here to translate official language for us. When Oz is not in his place by my side, he prefers peace and quiet and will actively conceal this person rather than chat with mortals. Simply by observing the placid surface of a lake, Oz can sift millions upon millions of memories and from them, allow entirely new philosophies yet undreamed of to bubble up. This is one of his favorite pastimes. Paimon thinks she gets it. He should be by side your lake right now, somewhere we can't see, freshly enjoying the breeze. So you have to, and so you get to have fun in the purple fortress while Oz gets to treat himself, resting the way he likes. A good deal for all. Congratulations are in order. Naturally, I, the princess in their bird along, cannot long linger here in this purple fortress, for the pressing matters of many different worlds await the attention of Oz and myself. So Oz is in Slider Lake, although he's invincible. I guess I could try going there later just to see if he is there. The next time I see you two, my good cat conjurers, I shall surely have sought out a cat familiar who fears not Oz's life and magic. Official has a lot of, has a lot to say. Your Royal Highness, the Princess and Divertalong, how proceeded thy reading? Yeah, Pime is curious too. How are you getting along with a cat? Did you find any special one? <laughs> it has it has been just a few short days, really a snap of the fingers. However, and our promising feline retainers are yet deep in preparation to display their pre prodigious capabilities for my royal person. Only this creature with a name most humble as though it was seeking to actively conceal its unique talents. Dopey has dared to respond to my test and has proven relatively cooperative. 
face worthy indeed. Wait, so the other cats just gave you the cold shoulder because they couldn't understand your <laughs> your unique way of speaking. <laughs> and only Dopey is usually willing to spend time with you. Blasphemous slander, how could that be? <laughs> but let's play along, shall we? <laughs> Hmm, such topics are unworthy of further examination. Cat Conjurers, the time has come for you to demonstrate your wisdom and offer your counsel to my august person. I am sure that by this time you have long since gained deep insight into all the habits and favorite victuals fancied by the feline familiars here within the furball fortress. Oh, so you just wanted to ask what the cats like to eat? That's an easy one. You sure are you sure are a quick study. The moment you notice the cat's ignoring you, you immediately thought of using foot to get close to them. Most wise, my princess. You described the food preference as about cat's official and based on primary suggestion. <laughs> it's so fast. Those the transition is so fast. As expected, such an intricate formulation can surely only be mastered by you, my cat conjurer is most clever. To discern the potential of these feline retainers, I, the princess, must also reveal a suitable skill amongst my talents, unnumbered, and show these cats the world. <laughs> Good luck, Michelle. Though, remember to exercise portion control. Even if it's their favorite food, cats can't eat too much. Don't let them pick out or waste food. Paimon. Hey, 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 why are you looking at Paimon like that? But Paimon always orders what she likes and finishes every more. <laughs> He would never waste a crop. <laughs> exactly. You just said that. Feed the cat in moderation because they can't take all that food. And yet, here you are, Paimon. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking your own advice? Uh, at least, Paimon doesn't think she's ever wasted anything. As for picking out, Paimon may Times eat a bit more than usual, but that can't really count as picking out. Excuses. Then we shall continue to dedicate ourselves to the cause. Most excellent indeed. The cafe mills all applaud your amazing work. Okay, so let's now go to the last area, which is this. Oh, what? Wait, don't tell me there's still some upstairs. There's nothing right. Wait, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, so that was the last one? A certain special guest suddenly arrived at the Falls for a short while. Into its spell operation, putting Valerina in a panic. To 8 o'clock tomorrow. I guess when we're inside a building, it doesn't, the clock doesn't tra transition to go up in the sky. <gasps> oh, there we go. <laughs> Big girl. Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. You should probably give him some space. Get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh no, seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Looks like the shelter has a new spray. There's something almost dignified about it. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, the easy. Scooter. No one's <laughs> going to hurt you here. 
All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, they can't find you here. You're safe within He's these very walls. Big. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, but he's he, so big. He understood all that. Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. He's very Whoa, big. This cat is way bigger than the others. Exactly. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice, and he's wearing a scarf too. Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! Wait. He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pouncelot? How about Sir Pouncelot? <laughs> reference to Sir Lancelot? <laughs> is that a reference to Sir Lancelot? <laughs> I think he likes it. You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. You did all that. thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Yeah. Sir Pouncelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. You're getting much better with him. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pouncelot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. Excuse me, but I think I'm the one who's going to work to work on that, you know? So the last room is for Sir Pounce a lot. But wait a minute, if Sir Pounce a lot has the badge of the Knights of Favonius, doesn't that mean that he has an owner that is from the Knights of Favonius? Oh, uh, the motive is blue. Okay. This one. Ah, uh, I think I'm choosing this one. The mat. The school. This one is more like Inazuma uh, design. Decoration. This one is like this one. This one is much. Ah, there we go. That's great. <laughs> Play with a cat. Their pants are relaxed and quite the most. First, let's get. <laughs> then, let's play. <laughs> While sitting. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. But really, doesn't this, like, uh, isn't this the equivalent of a collar? You know, a pet collar? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe there is a reason why 
there is a there is a a cloth tied to it. Oh. <laughs> so cute. They did get real cats to make this this sound, didn't they? Oh, oh, I'm so What? I was just touching the ear. Okay, just one more. There we go. Friendship level. Ah. Uh, okay. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> I'm a nosier, sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and pinch his little cheeks. Uh, well, he does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Huh. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Albedo? Huh? Oh, it's the Traveler, Paimon, and Sister Rosaria. Uh, and you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. Wait, so you're telling me that you're actually the owner? Albedo, I knew that this, this scarf around his with a badge of the uh, Knights of Avonius is hollow. That's hollow. Albedo! It's been such a long time! It's super great to see you! Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? <laughs> I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason? C captain He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. Yeah. Relatable. Assuming the Albedo has arrived to invest in the Valerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Valerina is Unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such inspections. There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Oh, not too long not... ago, Interim Team Feline Treatment Case Number 3, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. Wait, don't tell me that his name is really Sir Pouncelot and, and Paimon didn't just guess it. Or are you just uh, going along with the name, Albedo? 
Isso. Okay. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team and even bears the it. insignia of the Knights of Avonius. I knew it. <laughs> if he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. Uh, so he actually belongs to the investigation team? That would explain the Knights of Favonius symbol. Yeah, I, I have been saying that. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official sounding titles you added to his name? Interim treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested whopper flower nectar. What? Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Oh, so I guess that explains his size then. Reminds me of Sucrose's Sunsiera, the, uh, the huge one. I forgot how... What name she gave it? Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. And maybe that's where For he cats, got, yeah. or really any animal that lives in the this wild, rat. a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. <laughs> That's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although uh. he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. Wait. We all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Wait, so, so you're telling me that Paimon's actually... <laughs> Paimon, are you a sage? I mean, you're the one who gave the name Sir Pouncelot. And then, did you synchronize with Glee to name, to name, to name Sir Pouncelot that? This is so confusing. Is Paimon is here? <laughs> Whoa, Glee and Paimon were totally on the same wavelength with this one! Exactly. Great minds really do think alike. <laughs> exactly, isn't it? Sir oh. Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However... It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? 
Uh, well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. Yeah, and as Albedo said, uh, Sir Pouncil doesn't get along with... with, um... Uh, with the ones on his team. Except for he, I guess. The investigation team is no place for a pet. And we are a combat unit, after all. Yeah, there is. Any night he got close combat. to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way he can slowly recover in peace. A nice cozy little home for him in the Serena teapot. It has everything he could want, and most importantly, no monsters. Yeah, and he would have a lot of friends. Too. Great, welcome to the family, Sir Pounce a lot. Thank you so much, Albedo. Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. Where is your encampment? That was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start, and you were the one that helped Sir Pounce a lot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just... there. Ah... I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. For now though, I'll settle for cat whisperer... in training. <laughs> Does that mean this place When I be open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt. <laughs> she's, she's mm, the the sister and the whisperer working together. Almost sounds like it was meant to be. <laughs> oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. Yes, yes, I don't know much about beauty, rescuing huh? stray animals, but... This seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you! The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful! When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. We'll cut the ribbon together. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend Sir Pouncelot. Talk about a win-win-win. <laughs> Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good. <laughs> It looks so cute on this icon. <laughs> they all look so cute.
and gently raise his paws. And an invitation to dance is a trap. This is what we have to do. Oh, are this actually uh, tips on the house? Organic orange cat just needs to have a bit of a temper. Due to, due to this property, he gives a nice amount of advice and even calls him Sir Pounce a lot. When playing with Sir Pounce a lot, it's best to exercise caution, especially when you find out if he likes him this way. Okay. <laughs> Or uh, Arch Archelino. I haven't gone to Fontaine yet, okay, you guys. So I know I probably butchered, but butchered the name. Play with. Okay. Okay. Oh. Go to the Serenity Temple. Shall we? I also need to meet. Wow, I I haven't. I haven't gone over this. And also the recipe. I am sorry, Novelette, but you're not allowed in town. Please go away. Wait a minute. Where is our pounce a lot? Uh, uh, furniture. Not use my we need to <laughs> Fine, I can go from here. Well, we Hey, is that a new, a new thing? Is that a permanent thing? It looks like one of those temporary ones. This is a permanent one, though, compared to this one. Oh, no. Right over here. What's that? Oh no. It's 
outside the boundary. It is a permanent. Three. Pray to the Almighty Leo. Would you care to sit down and? I haven't been on. The Where's her last one? If you ever have any... Would you care to see? Or wait, maybe it's already in my inventory. If you ever have any.
But I think they're pounds a lot. Yeah, no. I did
And light. Are you for what? Yeah. All right, our encounter point. Ah, huh. oh, never let. I am so sorry. And ah, oh, he still has five more days. Huh. Huh. Add Astra Abbot. Thank you for comp. Astra Let's just stay here until the end of this event. Let's go sit with Sir Pouncil. Okay, and that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next